So you're in an interesting position because you went from being one of the most high risk professions you could have, you know, they don't even include you in on the statistics, right? It's not like they're like race car drivers, they get pulled out because everybody's like, yeah, those aren't normal people in our, in our actuarial sciences. But you then are involved in insurance, which means you have a fundamental, a business understanding of risk. So sure. what do you think that, that you're like, what is going from a race car driver that was handling risk to now being a businessman that manages risk? What, how does that work? Well, I mean, you know, the first thing everybody thinks of, or I think about it, and it's kind of funny, is the movie Along Came Polly with Ruben Pfeffer, you know, it's like managing risk, everything he does in life, he says, you know, my odds are here, my odds are here. So that, that's not really what it's like at all. I mean, I work, I work with construction and developers and health insurance and, you know, and it's, 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 it's not a career that I went on and said, Hey, I'm going to do this, but it's a career that my father was in for 40 years. He still is in it. Um, and, you know, and what was, is it? I only know vaguely that you do yeah. like some type insurance. of very specialized insurance. Insurance and risk management. Uh, we're an insurance broker. Uh, we, we aren't the insurance company, so we don't, we don't underwrite the risk. Um, we, you know, we're, we're, we're the sales force for, uh, for, for most insurance companies. Most insurance companies do not have their own sales force. Like a state farm, they would, They're, that's what you call a direct rider, but we work with the Chubbs, the Travelers, the um, Zurichs, um, and, and they're, they're big insurance companies that utilize the broker network to, you know, to, to provide coverage. So, so what we do is, you know, we, 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 we find, we source the client, we learn their business, um, and, uh, you know, then we bring our product. And frankly, our product is, uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of people in our business. It's, we got a business full of mediocrity, which I love because it makes it easier to, to, to stand out. Um, but, but we all sell the exact same insurance product, but our real product is our advice and our service. Um, I, I went in, you know, my, my, my dad has been obviously a huge mentor and um, I've, he's still around and I, I still, you know, I, I still call him when I run, you know, when I get perplexed on, you know, running a business and, um, and he's super helpful, but he just, he, he always told me this and I remember it and it served me very well. It's, um, you know, there's three things, three real things that matter uh, in our business. It's uh, honesty and integrity, knowledge of your business and, you know, willingness to serve. And that last one is, is what I believe has gotten me, uh, you know, it has helped propel us and, and, the, and the willingness to serve is, is, I think he got that, you know, from, from, from being in the army, you learned it, you know, you're going to, well, I guess there, you're going to do it or you do it no matter what, but um, it's just willingness to, to, to spend time, you know, you just, just, Hey, I work for you. What can I do to help you? I'm here to help you type thing. So, so that's really it. I mean, it, it's not a super complex business, but um, it, you know, it, it, it can be, um, you know, on a lot of the, you know, there, there, I, I shouldn't say that there's a lot of very complex things, uh, uh, that, that we work on uh, and do, but but the reality is, um, you know, we're we're an insurance broker. If you if if you have a company and you need insurance, um, well, that's what we do. It strikes me that you have an interesting view on the nature of human beings, right? Because you've been around a bunch of people that have all decided they're going to strap themselves into cars that can go as fast as airplanes or, or try as hell hard as they can, and then you also are in a position where you're meeting with people that have built something and they want to protect it. And so between right. those two divides is basically everyone in the world. Everyone wants to build something and protect it, but not everybody is willing to strap themselves in. And even some people that are willing shouldn't be there. What do you think that you know about human nature that the, the average person wouldn't? That's a, you know, that's a, that's, that's a tough question. I mean, I, I like to, I always put myself, um, in the position of, of, of kind of who I'm talking with. I mean, so, you know, so I'm, I deal with, we deal with a lot of different people. We do, you know, I like dealing with business owners because I am one. Um, and, and when I, you know, and when I, when I'm going to help them, I say, well, here's what I do. Um, uh, you know, and just like when I go to my financial advisor, like, you know, Hey, what do you want to do? I want to know what you're doing. Like, because you know, you know I want, I, you know, I want to know how you do it because you obviously have money and I want to know how, what, you know, how you protect it. And, and, and uh, I typically, find find people in that role and and i hope you know and find other you know clients that are that that, that do things and live life kind of in operate business in a similar manner that i can so i can go to them and say i'm not just trying to sell you something this is how i do it and, and, and for example like um you know i when when i'll tell people not to insure something like i mean if i were me i wouldn't insure that even though i don't make any money and i don't really care i mean 
I wouldn't insure that if I were you. Um, or I would take the really high deductible option. You're never going to have a loss. Just buy a high deductible. Insure the risk that you can't afford to lose. Like if you can afford to, if you can, you know, if you lose, if, if, if you have a $5,000 couch, it gets ruined and it's not going to put you out of business or change your day in a terrible way. I mean, it, sure, it's a bummer. Um, don't insure it. Like don't spend the money on it. But if, you know, if, you, if, if your house burns down and now you got a million dollar, $500,000, problem um you better ensure that because then that you know that's that's going to change your day so i just try to you know i i, I don't know that racing or, or, or anything i learned there really you know comes into it it's every now and then i'll run into a person that uh that loves to talk about it because race fans are very select you either are or you aren't and when you when, when you find one that is um you know we'll call to talk about insurance or construction or rebuilding or whatever else and you know spend the first 15 minutes talking about the indianapolis 500 which i i, I love doing that um I don't know how much it helps me in business, but um, I certainly enjoy the this, That's a surprising answer. Probably very, very honest. My, my sense is that people, as you were saying, you know, like you had kids and all of a sudden your calculation on what is risk and what is dangerous and what is worth it all of a sudden starts changing. And I know that I've felt the, uh, the pull where you're looking at insurance and you're like, you know what? I don't know. Just, just in case I'm going to keep stacking that on there. And to hear somebody say like, hey, I give advice where it's, you don't need to insure that, it's uh, kind of a fulfilling feeling for me to hear you say that. Well, I mean, look, I mean, we're, you know, we're, 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 we're big game. We're, you know, we're, we're, in for, we're in it for the big picture. I mean, ultimately, people are going to need uh, insurance. Different people need different insurance. I mean, we, we, you know, we, we do everything from, you know, from a person trying to insure a home and a couple cars, um, you know, all the way up to, you know, our, 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 our biggest deals are, you know, Four hundred million dollar hotel construction, uh, you know. Oh you know, wow! Condos in it. So, so that so that's really what Dude, I you're do. straight uh, up on. You are straight yeah. up out of your mind if you think that that's not high risk. I mean, like anybody talks about numbers like that, you're talking about more than what we would value a plane full of people at. You know, like the that's 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 I mean, a yeah. huge amount of money. It's huge risk, and without trying to get too detailed on it, what I typically do, my my specialty, and, and, and here I am, we're a boutique shop in St. Louis. And every time I'm competing, I'm competing against Aon and Marsh and Willis, the, the three largest that are 300, 3,000 times the size of my, my, of my shop, even though we are part of a bigger conglomerate now. But, um, and, and, and what, what my specialty is, is, and it's not so much, I don't, I do 80% of our business outside of the state of Missouri. Um, we're all over the coast. Um, and the coasts are where there's really high uh, construction defect litigation. So, so, so I, so basically essentially i I provide and put together programs for the insurance that would go on a $300 million condo slash hotel construction building. And then three years later, when the people have already moved into it and, you know, there's a leak that causes somebody to get, uh, you know, mold and, and, and get sick from mold and, or there's subsidence, the whole building sinks and it comes back to, to, to faulty construction three years after it's done up, you know, most States can say up to 10 years after it's done, everybody who built it is still liable for it. So, so that's really what I specialize on. Those are my, those, those are my specific ones, but you know what, if, if you, if somebody calls me and said, Hey, Robbie, can you help me with my house or my boat? I'm like, yeah, sure. I mean, that's, 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 that's easy. That's not what I look for. But um, so, so we're, you know, I, I, my specific, you know, specialty in, is, is with large developers, um, large contractors. Um, and, you know, and we, and of course, we do plenty of business in St. Louis. Um, you know, it, we banks our, our mutual friend. We do their bank and, 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 and have great people on that as well. But, um, but what I, you know, what I wake up dealing with mostly is, is usually related to some sort of large construction. Thanks for checking out this podcast short. If you liked it, make sure you hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell. Also, if you'd like to support the podcast, you can always join the Articulate Ventures Network where people get previews of the show early and also get to meet other Articulate Ventures Network supporters from all over the world. The link is below or visit articulate.ventures. Ah, ah, ah.